Yeah, Dave, this is a rare story we don't normally tell from the auto show, but let me put it into perspective. Three years ago when General Motors was in the middle of that ignition switch controversy with more than 100 documented deaths, no company official was criminally charged. Now tonight, for VW, it's a different story. 48-year-old Oliver Schmidt charged with conspiracy to defraud the United States government. We have to repair the cars, uh, be consistent in what we are talking. We have to really start from new and build up the trust of the uh, U.S. customers again. Oliver Schmidt was the general manager of the Volkswagen Environmental and Engineering Office in Auburn Hills, then promoted up the ladder in the company in Germany. The feds allege he knowingly participated in the emissions cheating and in 2015 even continued the deception when meeting with federal regulators. The feds say they built their case using two other VW confidential witnesses. You know, he used to work in Auburn Hills. That means a lot of this Volkswagen cheating actually took place here locally. And it's the fact that the FBI went knocking on the door to arrest him is unbelievable. The evidence is a scheme that lasted almost a decade. VW cheated from 2006 to 2015, installed software in cars to cheat because VW could not meet emission standards. This included their Generation 1 clean diesel engines in 2007 and again Generation 2 in 2011. The word repeatedly used in the court documents says cheating. Do you apologize to the American Definitely. people for cheating? Definitely, I apologize for the American uh, for the for the cheating. Yeah. Doesn't get any worse than that. No, it doesn't get any worse. And it's probably not a coincidence that the feds charged with the start of the Detroit Auto Show. Many here expect more charges might be coming. Now, what?